Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. I just drooled. I legit just drooled. I legit can't believe I just drooled. <laughs> Anyways, good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kylie the drooler, apparently. <laughs> If you could just take a second, give this video a thumbs up. That'd be really great. Really helps my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos because I come out with new videos every single week. I think, I was like, I have been switching up my training a lot to like more heavy lifting. And honestly, after soccer ended, I was like, I will never heavy lift again. I'm just doing hit circuits. That's what I like to do. Something in me has sparked again, and I like weight training again. Like, I love the way it makes my body feel. I like the way that it makes me look. So that's what I've been doing. So I figured I'd give you, like, a little body update and maybe give you a workout. Usually I post all my workouts on Instagram, so if you're in need of, like, new workouts, you can check those out. Or I have a 30-day challenge ebook, which is hit circuits for 30 days. Very intense, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to do, like, a dumbbell-only leg workout today. And I'll give it to y'all with the reps and everything. But I want to do a body update first because I feel like I've been, I'm actually like up five pounds from when I was testing my ebook, which I was so run down back then, but that's a story for another vlog. But yeah, I definitely feel like I put on some muscle, especially in my legs and a little bit in my upper body, but let me give you a little body update. I feel like I definitely put on some more muscle in my quads for sure and my booty. Making a conscious effort to eat more and to like lift super heavy. I'm doing a ton of glute bridges and hip thrusts and I feel like it might be paying off just a little bit. I do want to train abs more though just because I feel like I've kind of let that slide. Something new, I've definitely been training a lot more upper body which if you guys know I hate training upper body but I'm trying to appreciate it more and I feel like I'm definitely seeing a little bit of changes. Um, but yeah, I really like my training right now. I'm still like, I'm incorporating like more sprint work rather than like longer distance just cause it was really hard on my knee. So I'm incorporating more sprint work. I usually incorporate sprint work and then like a heavy lift and I'll do that at least three times a week. And then the other days I'll do like hit circuits. But yeah, I've really been loving it and I hope you guys enjoy this workout. Now let's go to the gym because I just downed my pre-workout. We gotta go. We are starting off with one of my favorite types of cardio, which is an interval run. Okay, so this is how it's gonna work. You're gonna run for four minutes. I put my speed on the screen, but you don't have to follow those. Just do what's comfortable for you. And then straight after that, without a rest, you're gonna go into a four minute jog. And then straight into that, you're gonna go three minute run, three minute jog, two minute run, two minute jog, one minute run, one minute jog. And you're gonna increase your run speed by 0.5 each time. So that way we're not only working on endurance, but we're working on speed. Next is elevated sumo squat. Make sure your toes are pointed slightly outwards. That way this is gonna target the inner thigh and the booty. And the reason this is elevated is, is so that you can get extra depth on that squat. If you can't quite get that low yet, definitely just do a normal sumo squat until you get really good depth on these. Next are side lunge hops. And these are freaking killer. Oh my gosh, they literally kill your quads. Just make sure you're really exploding out of that lunge and getting really good depth as well. Next, we're gonna do a superset. We're gonna superset sumo RDL and single leg RDL. So on sumo RDL, make sure you're really hinging at the hips and really controlling that weight and not over exaggerating the glute squeeze at the top. On single leg RDLs, as you lower that weight, you can lift the opposite leg. Or if you're not very comfortable with that and you're, you don't have great balance yet, you can keep that other leg down for extra support and extra balance. Next are glute bridges. On these, I like to give a good three second squeeze at the top. And then as soon as I hit the bottom, I explode back up. So it's like a really quick turnaround between each rep. 
And then this is also a super set. You're gonna go straight into single leg glute bridges, which are absolutely killer. They are so hard, especially after those initial glute bridges. Next, we have curtsy lunges. You're gonna do eight on each leg. Honestly, I love curtsy lunges. I feel like they really make a difference and they make me super sore the next day. Lastly, we have kettlebell swings. So kettlebell swings, a lot of people do them wrong. It is not a squat. It's more, it's supposed to target your hamstrings and your glutes. So you don't want to squat down as you're lowering the weight. You wanna keep your knees slightly bent. You are not lowering into a squat as you are doing this. And when you come up, really explode and really target those glutes. I'm so tired. I'll come over here. It's too hot in the sun. That was so freaking hard. I'm so tired. So I just came out here. I'm gonna do some stretching and some handstands because I'm trying to get better at handstands. But first I'm gonna have a built bar. Uh, these are my favorite protein bars. They're 130 calories, 17 grams of protein, and four grams of sugar. This one tastes exactly like a Thin Mint. Legit, exactly like Thin Mint. And if you heat these up in the microwave, so good. I'm not a big protein bar kind of girl because I normally hate the way they taste. They taste chalky and stuff, but this one, literally this and the salted caramel. That one tastes like a Snickers, I swear. No, a Milky Way. It tastes like a Milky Way. Oh, it's so good. It's like so chewy. I think I have a discount code. I think they gave me one. If you guys want to try them out. I'm not sure where to get them in the stores, but I just order mine in bulk online. Now I got to stretch because my hammies are really feeling that. And um, I'm gonna try some handstands because I'm really bad at them. enough falling for one day. I hope you guys try this workout and I hope you love it. It was really hard. My quads and hammies are dead. Let me tell you. If you like workout videos like this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I'll try and make more videos like this. Also, if you want other workouts or different types of workouts, I also have those on my Instagram and my ebook is always linked in the description below. So I love y'all. See you next time.